Hello, hello, familia. Welcome. My name is Magazine Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my oldies but goodies. Familia, so you guys have already been asking me to review this and this literally released, but I was able to get it at Sephora. I went to two Sephoras and one had it, one didn't. The girl was kind enough to like go to the back and get it for me. This is supposed to be like a lightweight skin tint. I'm scared because we got oily skin and lightweight and this sun and I'm gonna be out and about today I'm not sure you guys know I already did my skincare about I would say 20 minutes ago what am I saying yeah skincare's done eyes are done as you guys know I always do a one day full day like a 12 hour wear test with skin tints I don't do the two day reviews I typically just stick to foundations and concealers with the two day reviews so what I'm gonna do is prime the skin I'm gonna use a mattified primer because I do have oily skin it's gonna be hot I'm gonna use it in half of the face I have to go somewhere today, so I don't know if this is a great idea. Test out new stuff, but hey, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. So we're gonna work with this side. It's gonna be the side with the prama. And I'm gonna put a good amount, really get it in there. And as always, you guys know, we're gonna let this primer dry down so it starts to activate and mattify the skin. Oh, very nice and mattified. Let's see, I'm in the shade 10. They don't have a ton of shades, and they also don't have a lot of neutral undertones i'm really hoping this is my shade how big is this little thing it looks tiny oh 1.1 so it's a little bigger than the average which is one ounce oh this is pretty look at this and the shade is the number 10 in the back this foundation right here i'm shade 11 i do recall that this runs very warm okay let's shake you always want to shake 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 this is lightweight i keep saying that but i'm like i'm scared is it too lightweight where it's sheer girl we need coverage oh look it comes it's closed i just saw a TikTok where a dentist is like, don't do this. Like use your teeth to open things because that's how like chips happen. As I think about that TikTok, I did it, you know? Okay. So this is shade 10. It looks okay. Yeah, I'm a little tanned right now, but this definitely will work. It may be oxidizing too a little bit. It has some good little texture. You see how it's moving, but not that much. I was expecting a lot of movement just because, I don't know, it's a skin tint. Ooh, hold on. My seat's not right. It's because I wash my hair, my... I always try to be like even. Okay, it looks a little light, no lie. Has thick texture, look at that. I'm kind of liking this already, but let's apply. Cause sometimes when you apply, things tend to, they could sheer out. And you know, I like to apply with my finger. You get an even application. It also like allows us to really touch and feel the product. Like feel that texture. It's definitely hydrating. This is nice, yeah. It has umph to it. I feel like the longer it's out, like on your hand and you rub it, it becomes a little thicker. Okay, okay. It's hydrating. So this already perfect for my dry skin girlies. Get my brush, blend this out. The shade is a little bit, is it light? I don't know, I feel like it is a little. With Hourglass, I don't ever have like my perfect, perfect shade. Also, this is a skin tint, so a lot of times there's a lot less shades because skin tints typically warm up to your skin and the shade adapts to your skin. So that's a common thing when it comes to skin tints, not foundations. Okay, after, before. Oh yeah, it is sheer. It's sheer, but it provides Good, decent coverage. Skin tint coverage, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, apply this side, give you info about this, and then we'll see. The new Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint Foundation retails for $49. It comes in 18 shades. I am in the shade 10. This is a lightweight skin tint that boosts moisture levels by up to 52% for a dewy glow and provides a sheer veil of coverage for comfortable all day wear. The coverage is light, the finish is radiant. The highlighted ingredients is metal foam seed oil, hyaluronic acid, plant-based squalene. I purchased mine at Sephora. I will say say it's looking really good did you guys see when i first applied it with my fingers on this side the skin looks super wet that's all like okay my manchas aka hyperpigmentation you can see it a little bit obviously this is a skin tint it's always going to be a lighter weight coverage it's not a foundation it is seven isn't this early still oh it is it's 7 57 in the a.m i'm gonna let this dry down because it's super super wet yeah anytime you put a foundation or a skin tint especially when it's hot 
and a lightweight hydrating one, I always suggest for you to let it dry down. I'm gonna let it dry down for like 10 minutes just so we can see if it dries down or the skin remains as wet as it is. Cause look, you can see it, it, it's wet. Dang, hydration. It's like I drank my water. It is 8, 10. It's been about 11 minutes. Oh yeah, it's wet. So this is the no primer side. Primer side. Primer side seems to be peeling a little bit. The fact that this side is still very hydrated with the primer says a lot. It looks like this is a water-based skin tint. The first few ingredients are water-based. I'm going to treat it as a water-based foundation. Water-based foundations tend to be lighter, waterier, and I feel like they don't adhere to the skin as well. This right here, the no primer side, I feel like it'll just slip away. Although we've had it on for like 10 minutes. You can see the slight difference. This one's a lot more hydrating than this one. Oh, let me show you the peeling. Is it happening or was it just me? I feel like the nose is cracking a little bit. Not enough to like see, but enough to tell you. What I want to do is let's build a little bit. I want to just build here where my hyperpigmentation is and around the nose I feel like it's peeling hey, this is so hydrating like it feels like lotion on the hand let me let it sit maybe 30 seconds and then blend it out see if we get something different since this is a water-based foundation silicone based thing primers and foundation they tend to stick on those ingredients are made for things to adhere on right now though I am liking the non-primer side a little bit more there's our top I didn't want to use a sponge today because the formula is so lightweight. The sponge will always give you a natural look. A brush will give you more coverage. I don't think it's too buildable though. At the very beginning when you apply it, it looks like it's sitting on top of the skin and it's peeling. It just doesn't lay flat. As it warms up, it gets better. And I could see that because I just reapplied. I don't know what you think. What I'm gonna do is add some concealer and set. Going in with Derma Blend powder. This powder is so great, it never does me dirty. I'm gonna actually set the skin down with a brush, not the powder puff. I wanna see what difference we get setting with the brush. So I decided to use this brush. I don't add too much powder on the skin because this is such a hydrating foundation. Setting with the brush won't give you that like powdery look sets the skin lighter just like a lighter weight i'm expecting greatness and i'm just not seeing it let me get this bake and now the skin feels wet want to make sure set down because also if your skin's wet other products like a powder blush or bronzer may not sit well it's not working with the primer side at all it's peeling but the center of the nose it's peely too and then this side it's peeling on the nose. The way a skin tint or foundation applies is most likely how it's going to look. Setting it with powder, it's really not going to change the texture or the look of how it looks on your skin. That's why that initial application is crucial and it gives you a good idea like, wait, how is this gonna really sit on the skin? What the powder does, it sets down already what you have there. So if it's looking weird, it's gonna just set down looking weird. Let's finish up the face. I'm curious to see how other products apply and I'll be Right, all right, all right, it ends. Okay, first thing, the good thing is that the products applied well, no patchiness, no funny business. I do see that a radiance is coming through after I set, which I kind of feel like it because it's a super hydrating product. However, I just feel like it's not laying well on the skin. The no primer side definitely looks better. It's laying on the skin, I feel like a little better versus the primer side. It started off not too great because
because I just felt like there were separating going on. But after the powder, now that it's been, I don't know, 30 minutes of skin warmth, that is the magic of this product. Initial application is definitely not impressive, but let's see how it wears. Let's see if we just have this nice radiant look throughout the day. That's honestly feel that this is giving me, it's giving me a very lightweight and it says it's a very lightweight product. If we're going to spend $49, we want a product that is going to work and last all day. If it's lightweight, we know when we're buying it, we know we're going in and buying a lightweight product. If it's lightweight and it just doesn't work, it doesn't lay on the skin, it doesn't last, then girl, we're not trying to waste our money, you know? So yeah, this is it. My lip combo is this. Dragon Girl and on a mission. And we'll see. I mean, I have hope. Definitely going from the window too. Okay, bye. See this nice radiance we naturally have? That's good. It's just the actual formula. This is the side with the primer. This is the, my phone's mirrored. So this is the side. You can see that cracking I was talking about. And you can see pores. It's not really a smoothing sort of skin tint. That personally is what I love. It's something that's smoothing and pigmented. This is the non-primer side. You can see it's a little more on the hydrating side. But no cracking here. The skin warmth is really helping right now. I feel like it's meshing in well. And that's where we get that highlighted look right now. I am back, you guys. Oh, I'm bejeweled and it's nine o'clock. Oh my gosh, this skin tint is literally holding on to dear life. You know, I got some footage at around four o'clock. Things weren't looking too great. Here on this side is the side with no primer. As you can see, my blush and bronzer is fading. Skin is super oily. I don't feel like I have that much coverage at this point. Here on the right side is the side with primer. Primer does look a little bit more on the matte side, but we are using a matte primer. I took more footage at, at around seven o'clock just to show you how my skin looks. Both sides just not looking the greatest. I want you to first see, like this hair out of the way, to show you first. This side is the side with no primer, right? There's separation here, my mouth area. Let me get close. It's gone here, not completely. So that's actually a good thing. Thing. sitting on top of the skin right here here on the other side is the side with primer gathering here you guys saw from the beginning the nose was looking funky what I kind of really noticed is one it's not sitting on the skin well and two look my blush and bronzer are completely faded that typically happens when a product is very very lightweight other products really just don't adhere to it it's not really adhering to my skin I think if you have dry skin it probably would work if you use a small amount of setting powder also because it's such a thin formula the setting powder doesn't really grab onto anything because with makeup when you're layering on it has to sort of adhere to one another it can look flawless and it lasts all day especially if your base isn't like a strong base the rest will kind of fall apart kind of like we saw today if you have oily skin or oils will completely break the product apart I didn't feel like I look nice today pores you can see them you know all over the place skin tints are typically very lightweight products I don't ever expect them to be super pigmented they are not a foundation there's something that if you like very minimal makeup skin tints are typically what is available for you I think it is way too expensive for our makeup to look very average if you're looking for a skin tint that's super hydrating and will last all day it's pigmented and adheres to the skin girl get this drugstore one this is by far the best skin tint at the drugstore like I will not trade this in for any other skin tint at this point because this just unfortunately did not do it for me and the skin looks all right I mean it looks pretty okay considering it's been so long I can't see a $49 product performing so far and low-key I do feel like I look gastada even with my eyes looking super cute it's just not there for me thank you guys so much for asking me to review this because you know I got you and let me know your thoughts you guys know we're always chit chatting in the comments and thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me please don't forget to like subscribe click the button right there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.